Hello and welcome. This video is part of a series where we're going to be looking at transmitting uh, data from your computer across the airways using audio tones. And of course, one of the first ways that you would probably think to do that would be Morris code. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. I am running Debian Linux here. And real quick, I'm going to use my package manager. I'm going to use Aptitude and I'm going to search for Morris. And you see a number of packages come up and reading the description, you can see a few of them have to do with Morris code. Uh, but the two that we're gonna be looking at today is Morris for generating the Morris code from plain text, and then using Morris to ASCII to convert the tones that are sent uh, back into ASCII. Uh, now, Morris, uh, as you can see by the eyes that I have both these installed, but just use your package manager to install them. And I'm going to look at the man page for Morris to see how to use it. And some programs don't have great man pages. This one has an excellent man page. It tells you everything. The manual tells you everything you need to know. And it even gives you examples. I love man pages that give examples on how to use the program. But one of the main points of this program isn't just to transmit Morse code. It's actually teach you Morse code. You can actually use these examples to practice uh, Morse code. So like if you were to copy and paste this one, it would run you through a little test that would test you on, use, on, on using Morse code, uh, which is great. Uh, you know, if you're into ham radio, uh, it's no longer a requirement to get your ham license, um, but uh, it's still a good thing to know. Uh, we're not going to get into learning Morse code today. We're just going to have a program do all the hard work for us. And of course, Morris is what we're going to use. So I can say echo and I can say hello world and it prints out hello world on my screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pipe those words into our Morris program. And right now it's just going to play out on my speakers. The microphone here should pick up some of it. So there we go. We have our Morris code uh, just from piping the words into it. But if you have a file such as this, I have a file uh, called data log, which is just three lines of text, hello world, this is a test, and goodbye. And what I can do is I can cat that into Morris. And as you can see, it's playing it. Um, now, if you watched the previous video in this series where I've talked about transmitting uh, data, as you can see, Morse code is rather slow and you can speed up using the Morse program how fast to transmit. The faster you go, uh, the more likely you are to miss characters though. And also with Morse code, it's, it's always going to be slow. I mean, the good thing about Morse code is that humans can translate it. So not only can I send it out and have another computer receive it, but humans can hear it and decode it. Uh, where other options we have, humans won't be able to do that, but you get much faster transmissions. But in this video, we're looking at Morse code. Now, I took example uh, similar to what we just did, and I put it into a WAV file. If I list out here, you can see I have a data.wav, and I can play that, or I'll play it for a little bit. So it's 13 seconds to play that text out. But what I can do is I can pipe that into our, or send that into our program, the uh, Morris2 uh, ASCII. So I just type in, let me clear the screen here, Morris2 ASCII, and I can give it that file uh, dot wave. And right there, it, it doesn't, you don't even have to listen to it. It's gonna just decode a wave file here. So here it gives us information about the program, and then it gives us information about the wave file we just gave it, and then it gives us the output here at the end. So let's run that again. Uh, is a test goodbye? I wonder if uh, I cut that off. It should say this is a test. Uh, but even so, uh, you'll notice that everything's lowercase and there's no new line characters. So that's another drawback to using Morse code is that there uh, is no case here. Everything is going to be converted to lowercase. So if case is important in the, in the information you're transmitting, that's going to get lost. And it's, it's uh, basically putting new lines as spaces. Now, you might be able to tweak the program to get the new line characters and maybe case isn't a thing, uh, uh, issue with what you're trying to do. Um, but all these things, uh, make it not great for what I'm trying to do. It, it's too slow and and I want everything put on new lines so I can filter through it. 
Uh, but let's look at this a little bit more here uh, with this. Again, it's giving us all this information we don't need. So what we want is just this last little part here, which is the standard out. So we can pipe the rest of that into null. So uh, it's very simple to do. Same command, do a space to and a greater than symbol. No space between the two and the greater than symbol. And then we're just going to say, put that into dev null. So it basically means take those first lines that we're getting. And there might actually be an option if we look at the man page to, to only get the text. But this is just the way that I came up with right away. Do that. And it's only going to give us the output of the text. Is a test. Goodbye. And again, it should be this is a test. I must have clipped the wave file a little bit, I'm assuming, when I, when I saved it. So there are two programs, Morris for generating and also learning if you're looking to learn Morris code, and Morris to ASCII. So again, these are uh, programs for Morris code, but we're going to look at other options in these future videos. Again, this is part of a series. Be sure to check out the full playlist. There should be a link in the description and also hopefully at the end of this video. Also visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There should link, be a link in the description. And uh, again, more videos coming later this week. I thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.